Hello, I am Micah Wolf with Foab and 9185 Robotics. This is part three of our video series using Pros 4.1 and Easy Template 3.1 to jumpstart your journey through Hello, I am Micah Wolf with Foab and 9185 Robotics. This is going to be part three of our video series using Pros 4.1 and Easy Template 3.1 to jumpstart your programming journey in VEX Robotics. In this third video, we'll be showing both the Pros method and utilizing Pros and utilizing Easy Template to uh, control your pneumatics on your robot. Hello, I'm Michael Wolf with Foab and 9185 Robotics. This is part three of our video series utilizing Pros 4.1 and Easy Template 3.1 to help jumpstart your programming journey in VEX Robotics. In this third video, I'll be showing two different ways to set up and use pneumatics. The first method and the first part of the video will be going over how to do it with Pros. And the second part of the video will be uh, showing how to do it with Easy Template. Both uh, methods are completely valid and you can use either one. Um, there are very few differences between the two, um, but it is uh, different enough that I figured I would show them. So to get started, the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to have to actually create our uh, pneumatics, our piston, our solenoid. Um, so we're going to call that pneumatics. And then again, it's extern for the pros method. You're going to do pros ADI since it's a three wire port. Pneumatics. Then we're going to call it um, what we, whatever we want to. So I'm just going to call it clamp. We'll call it clamp one. So our first clamp here, we find that it exists. I'm going to make sure I save. Then I'm going to take this. Go to globals.cp. Do the same thing. and uh, we need to give it some definition. So the first thing is it, it connects to a three wire port. So those are not numbered, they're lettered. So we're gonna put in, let's say it's connected to port A on the three wire port. Um, that should work just like that. Um, the only thing I am going to point out, um, and this is the same uh, if, Piston is connected to a wire expander. You would want to put the port that the wire expander is plugged into like this. Put this into squiggly brackets. So we're saying we're plugged into a uh, wire expander and number 12 in port A. Um, but I'm just going to assume that we're plugged directly into the brain for this, like that. Now, the other thing we need to give it though is we need to tell it how the piston is starting when the robot is turned on. Default state is normally false, but I'm just gonna set it to false. Uh, you can change this one of two ways. You can either come in here and change it on your code to true. Um, so as soon as the uh, robot starts, the piston would fire up, um, or you can change the direction on your tubing uh, if you want it as soon as you pump up the air for it to be firing in that direction. But that's how we create the motor or the pneumatic solenoid here, the piston, however you want to define it. Uh, the first way to control the piston, um, well, I guess I'll go over this first. Just like motors where we can do dot move, we can also do, I did not mean to make that a cap. Did not mean to do that. Change that. So clamp one here, um, with using it through pros, we can do clamp one dot extend, if I can spell. Extend, that will extend the piston. Or we can do clamp one 
dot retract. That will retract the piston. Um, and then there's another option, which is clamp one dot toggle. And that just means if it's up, it'll go down. If it's down, it'll go up. Um, the last thing you can do is if you need to know wh whether the piston is up or down in your code, you can do clamp one dot is extended. And that will give you a true or false value on whether it is up or down. So those are the function you, functions you can use with uh, pneumatics with pros, and I'm going to show you how to use those in a few different ways here. Um, so the first one is the e the very easy if master dot get digital um, master dot get digital, and we're just going to say digital. Let's make it a if master.getDigitalA, a so if the a button on the controller is pressed we are going to do clamp clamp one dot extend and then we can do else if same thing And we'll make this a different button. We'll make this B. Um, and, and this button is going to tracked. So do clamp one tracked. Just like that. Again, if I can spell. Clamp one retract. So that's the first method. Super easy. Um, just click one button to put it up, click one button to pull it down. Um, you may want to try and reduce the number of buttons you're using. Um, so I'm going to show you two different methods to uh, put the two different methods to toggle the piston on or off. Um, the first way here is uh, we're going to create a helper function for it. Actually, not going to do that. We are just going to get rid of this. Um, I'm going to use this later, so we're going to leave this here. But if you just want to use one button, that's very simple. Instead of doing one button up, one button down, you just come in here and do toggle. And that will toggle it up or down every time you press A. There's one change you have to make to this, though. Get digital constantly checks the controller. So if I click the A button for more than like, 10 milliseconds, it is going to refire the piston. What that turns into is the piston not moving, but you hearing, if you listen closely, your solenoid toggling back and forth constantly. So you want to get, use instead get digital new press. So that means it's only going to utilize one button press until you let go and press it again. Um, so that's just one change you want to make sure you make or uh, your robot's not going to do anything if you're holding down A. It's just going to constantly fire that piston. This is really good if you just simple control. If, on the other hand, you need to add in a toggle that also takes into account sensor values, or if you want it to, I click this button, but it's only going to do this if it detects this, that's where you would want to create a helper function for the toggle. Um, and I'll actually show you how to do that now. So we're going to create another function here. So we're going to do void. Um, and this is going to be clamp. I'm just going to call it clamp switch. Switching on and off. OK, and we've created that function. I'm going to take that, go to my helpers. That's file, put this in here. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say if clamp, clamp one dot is send it and I'm going to do if it is extended, I'm going to clamp one 
dot tract. Very simple, just like that. Now I need it going the other direction. I'm going to copy and paste this. 